Hey, I just heard Costco got some new Pokemon cards, so let's go see if we can find them. All right, so we're just getting to the Costco now, and uh, I just got word on Twitter that the Pokemon 2022-2023 uh, season, the competitive season has just been announced, which I'm really excited about. There's going to be a regional in Vancouver, I believe March 14 to March 16. So we were there last year uh, for the Van, uh, Vancouver regionals, but there's even better news. There's gonna be a regional tournament in uh, Toronto, I believe December 2 to December 4th. So if you wanna come to compete in Canada's uh, regional in Toronto this winter, you're gonna have to embrace the cold, cold winter weather. So I'm excited for that. All right, we're, oh my gosh, we just got inside of the, the Costco and we found it. That was really, really fast. It is uh, $45 on sale from $60 to so $15 off and you get all these tins. Usually these tins go for about like $15 Canadian. So you're getting each tin for less than uh, less than ten dollars. You're getting a bunch. So I think we're gonna buy three of these today. Three of these massive, massive bundles. That is dope. It looks like someone stole or tried to steal Ooh. one of the uh, one of the pokeballs already. So yeah, let's cash out of these pokeballs. All right. So my mom is picking a cake for my dad's birthday. I hate cheesecake. This is like the go-to chocolate cake. We even had this for my birthday. But yeah, we're gonna buy three actually of these Pokeball bundles. We're gonna open up two in different videos. And then the third, I think we might use for giveaway prizes since these are some really cheap Pokemon cards and it's easier to give away cheap Pokemon cards than expensive ones. This is so cool. They sell inflatable slide castle things. That's actually really cool. They also have an Uno like travel kit that is so sick this is such a good idea i'm surprised i didn't see this earlier at like a walmart but it does make sense to sell this at costco one thing i really like about costco is the samples that they have we got some frozen pineapple here tastes like pineapple i highly recommend you guys try these if you like peanut butter if you like those pretzel stuff like pretzels like this is a goaded goaded snack you get so much for 13 dollars canadian pretty much done here at costco i've lost my mom five times already and uh yeah we're gonna open up the pokeballs when we get back to the crib so let's head there right now and also show you guys the snack haul all right so we just got back home and look how we found misty she's right here vibing on this chair I just like, I saw the back of her head and was laughing. I just, this is all I see. And then, oh, there's, there's Misty. <laughs> you cute pie. All right, so we are back home and now it's time to open up one of these massive Pokeball bundles. We're gonna find out exactly what cards are inside. I'm excited. We also have another one here, which I'm going to do a Costco Pokemon battle. So we're gonna use this in a pack battle against another Costco bundle, which I have in my room. And then we have one more here, which I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with. I said I'd probably use it as giveaway prizes, so that might be what goes down, but still not 100% sure. While we're talking about giveaway prizes, we are running a giveaway for the month of August for the Pikachu V Union box collection. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button too, and comment down below answering the common question of the day for any video in the month of August. Each video you comment on is another entry. So for today's common question of the day, it is when was the last time you bought a really good uh, bundle of Pokemon cards for cheap? Was it from Costco? Was it from Sam's Club? Was it from Walmart? Like where, where was it from? Usually when I find these really amazing Pokemon bundles, it is from Costco. Look at the way that Pokeball <laughs> Pokemon is so squished in. That's actually really funny. We have the Luxury Ball, the Quick Ball, the Great Ball, a Pokeball, and a Premier Ball. So, let's bust this thing open. And I also wanna share like a funny story thing that happened with me and my girlfriend last night, which you guys might be able to relate to as I open this up. So, yesterday night, as I was at my girlfriend's house, I promised her, uh, cause we got in a little fight, I would, I would get some food, some yummy, yummy food from Uber Eats. We ordered some food, and uh, eventually, when the Uber driver came through, he dropped off a completely different order. First of all, it said they were coming on bike and they came by car and then it was two people instead of one. And then the person handling the food was like, hey, I'm looking for this house. It's this number, right? It's this number. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's, it's over there. I'm actually staying there right now. So instead of the Uber driver proceeding to give me the food, he just walked over to the house where I'm staying at my girlfriend's house and uh, dropped off the food. However, I told him, I'm like, we didn't order Wendy's and you're holding Wendy's and he just, he just ignored me and kept going to the house. 
And so we didn't get the food we ordered. I did like a report thing. And uh, what had happened was they basically, I said, hey, we never got our food. We got someone else's order. So they let us keep the Wendy's order. And then I got a full refund for my food. And then they gave me an $18 gift card credit for Uber Eats. So uh, we went and uh, we couldn't order the same food we wanted to get originally because the restaurant has closed, unfortunately. So that kind of sucked. But now we're here with $18 uh, extra Uber credit. And then we also have the free Wendy's. Now the Wendy's was like, yo, this is sick. We got free Wendy's. I love Wendy's. And you won't believe the order that they had for this Wendy's order. It was two side salads and chili cheese fries. Who on earth pays a premium on Uber Eats to get two super basic side salads Bruh. and chili cheese fries? And you get, you're getting chili cheese fries, you know the fries are gonna be a little soggy because it's it's from Uber Eats, right? You're not getting it fresh at the restaurant. I was just like, what, what maniac wasted their money on this Wendy's Uber Eats? Like I was judging the person who ordered the Wendy's so bad. We got it for free. We also got like a pink lemonade too for free. We ended up getting some, uh, some, some Japanese uh, pork or chicken katsu curry uh, from another one of our go-to restaurants. So let me know in the comment section down below, have you guys ever had a very odd Uber Eats interaction or DoorDash, whatever you use for your, your food delivery services. Just so you guys know, this Pokeball here is an A22 ball. So if you guys don't know, when you buy Pokeballs like this, uh, you can typically tell what packs are gonna be inside by the, uh, the, like the, the stamp on the bottom. So certain stamps like numbers and uh, letters will correspond to certain booster packs. So that way you can tell kind of what season the Pokeball uh, was from and what packs are gonna be inside. So let's uh, let's get into this together. I'm excited. It is the Pokeball. Let's bust it open. This is an A22 Pokeball from Costco. And we have a, oh, okay. Okay, pretty decent pack selection. So we got Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, and Evolving Skies. We're going to do a little pack battle, you could say, as well in this video. No need to comment who you think is gonna win, but go ahead right now and place in your head your bet on which Pokeball is gonna have the best pulls or the best packs. We got these three packs, and uh, let's see how we can do on the very first, first tin. I know some of you guys might be, you know, uh, this, is, this is a common concern, which kind of makes sense, but when you buy these packs that come in the Pokeballs, the packs do come pretty squished up looking. I wouldn't worry too much about the cards being damaged. Usually it doesn't really ha affect the cards at all, which is really nice. So here we go. First pack magic. We got, yeah, I'll have the Pokeball here too to represent the Pokeball. We have a Electric Energy, Stormy Mountains, Rescue Carrier, Scrafty, Seedot, Lillipop, a Bagon, Litleo, Lotad, Crystal Cave Reverse, and a... Ooh, nice, a Rayquaza V Rapid Strike. Fire, that's awesome. And uh, also, for this video, uh, we're doing a giveaway in this video specifically. Your entry for the common question of the day will count towards this giveaway as well. So you're entering yourself in two giveaways by commenting. But basically, I'm going to give away all the bulk from this video and the hollows I don't need. So cards like Rayquaza V, I'm gonna keep um, certain reverse hollows and super playable cards like Crystal Cave reverse hollow, I might keep. But pretty much every other Pokemon card in this video is gonna be given away to one lucky viewer. And I'm gonna throw in some extra ultra rare Pokemon cards as well. So yeah, you guys will see how big the stack gets for all the cards we are giving away. Let's go next up, we got the Fusion Strike. Here we go, what can we get? And uh, I think we're just gonna go through these packs a little on the quicker side, so I don't eat up too much of your time today. Uh, we've got a Water Energy, Dracloak, Corvus Squire, Shauna, Clam Pearl, Morpeko, Skarmory, Shelmet, Plusle, Gossiflor, and a Steelix Hollow Rare. So this whole pack, we're gonna give this away. It's gonna go into the giveaway pile right there. So far we got like one and a half hits. I consider like Hollow Rare is like a half hit, uh, you could say. What, there's no code card? There's no code card in this pack. All right, let's see what goes down here. There's zero code card. I'm quite confused. Kecleon and a Shaman Hollow Rare. Interesting, cool. So I'm gonna keep the Shaman because I think Shaman's a pretty dope Pokemon, but the rest of the cards are gonna go into the giveaway stack right there. So uh, that means we got some pretty good pulls from that first Pokeball tin. We got two Hollow Rares and a Rayquaza. All right, next up, Great Ball. Uh, Pokeball tin and is it gonna have the same packs a 22 so I am expecting the uh, the exact same packs for this particular one in the past the Pokeball like uh, sorry the Costco bundles have been really really good in terms of like coming with really cool promos and, and other stuff so honestly if you are looking to buy Pokemon cards and you want to get the best bang for your buck 
Outside of buying from your local game shop, which by the way, check out the homies, mantatrading.com. Use code SneakerTalkTCG to get 5% off. They're my favorite local card shop in, in, uh, in Toronto. Check them out if you wanna buy cards from a local game shop. But um, outside of buying from them, buying from Costco is like the best way to get the most packs per dollar, you could say. So here we go. We have a great ball here up next. Let's see what we're able to get. It should be the same exact packs. Oh, it also came with a, a coin. I didn't see the coin last time, but we got a Raikou coin right here, a little scuffed up, a little scratched up right there. We'll put that in the stack, the giveaway stack as well. We have uh, Evolving Skies, we got a Fusion Strike, and we have a Chilling Rain. And uh, by the way, I completely forgot to show you guys the snack haul from Costco, so I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but let's bust open this Costco pack, see what we're able to pull from the Chilling Rain. And we have a hey, nice, we got a Sandaconda V Full Art. Love to see it, that is awesome. We're getting really solid pick, uh, hits so far. The rest of these cards I don't need, so we're gonna throw that into the giveaway stack. And one of you guys can take that code. But Full Art Sandaconda V, definitely happy with that. No complaints there, that is for sure. And then when we're done these two packs, I'll show you guys my snack haul. Um, it's not gonna be long, it's gonna be like really quick. I only bought three different kind of snacks. Uh, so let's see what we get. We got a code card at least. This time we got a code card. We didn't get a code card out of a previous pack, which was really weird. All right, here we go. Sizzlepeed, Stufel, Sandy Gas, Plusle, a Zorark, and a Meloetta Fusion Strike. So all these cards are gonna go in the giveaway stack right there. So look, the stack's getting pretty thick already. We got Evolving Skies up next. The fact that these tins do come with Evolving Skies booster packs is really nice. It's like the cherry on top. You'll love to see when the pack selection is good at these like discount bundles because you're gonna, you know, you're expecting kind of yeah, you'll take what you can get because you're getting some cheap Pokemon packs, right? You're getting some inexpensive Pokemon packs in comparison to some other stuff. Uh, so you're not going to complain about the pack selection. Uh, this is going to be all given away. We got this right here. We got the Reese's Thins right here. I love Reese's Cups, Hello Panda, chocolate cookie kind of thing. We went with something different today. We went with the Korean barbecue recipe jerky. I've never had pork jerky. First of all, this is pork, but also anything Korean recipe like anything korean inspired taste it whatever it i love korean food it looks almost fake with the way it's squished in but that's how they have to package it sometimes it just looks funny it is should be the same a22 a22 we're saying fusion strike chillering and evolving scott yeah just imagine how crazy it would be if we could pull an alternate art uh like evolution from one of the evolving skies uh booster packs in these tins i would just lose it man that would be insane that would be insane. I'm going to like forever buy Costco Pokemon cards if we get like a crazy, crazy pull. Here we go. So this is, I believe, Chilling Rain. Yeah, Chilling Rain. I can tell by the icon in the bottom left of the card. Coughing, a Frostlass, and a Wall Rain. All right, so this is gonna be a giveaway pack right there. Next up, Evolving Skies. What can we get? What can we get? And we are gonna go out for dinner tonight. My dad and my mom had their anniversary dinner like a few weeks ago, but now it's my dad's birthday. And my dad wanted to go to the exact same Chinese restaurant, which was pretty funny. I'm like, oh, let's, let's switch it up, you know? Let's go to a different place. But it is my dad's birthday, so you know, my dad does have the biggest vote, <laughs> you could say, when it comes to restaurant selection tonight. Um, here we go. You guys will probably never see my dad in videos. He's very camera shy. He doesn't like being on camera. Uh, Avalog and a Drampa the Grandpa. Another giveaway pack. Fusion Strike. And then we got six more packs left remaining after this from the other two tins. Masharna, Heatmore, Cook, Gumi, Arakuda, Snubble, Geodude, Sizzlepeed, Levani, and a... Araquanid. Premier Ball up next. I love Premier Ball because I love the white and red color combo. So here we go. Is this an A22 tin? Yes, sir. A22. We got the Raikou coin and of course the booster pack. Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, and Evolving Skies. So we actually need, I believe, three copies of Mew and two copies of Genesect to complete my, and one Rose Tower, to complete my Mew deck. So that's all we're missing. So if we can pull a Genesect or a Mew today, I will be quite happy. All right, but let's see what we got. A bunch of cards to give away, which is always nice. Eevee, Shinx, Golem Reverse Hollow, that's gonna be given away, and a Butterfree Hollow Rare. Not bad, not bad. I actually like this Pokemon a lot. Um, I'm gonna give it away today though, um, but I do have a Grass deck and I do have the Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree lineup because the effects are actually pretty nice. And uh, given that Grass, uh, decks you get to like search out 
particular Pokemons like all the time. Um, it, it's, it's a really good card. You, you should look into it if you like grass Pokemon. The, uh, the lineup from Fusion Strike with the Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree are quite, quite playable. So, uh, some more cards to give away. Here we go, next pack. Venipede, Frostlass again, I swear we just pulled this. And a Greedent, Hollow Rare. All right, that's gonna be a cool giveaway card as well to give away to y'all. So, boom, Hollow Rare, Greedent. And on to our last pack from the second last Pokeball tin. The Premier Ball with Evolving Skies. Dude, they nailed it. They nailed it on the pack selection, honestly. Because I'm still on the hunt for the alternate art Galarian Moltres V. And uh, who doesn't love Evolving Skies? I still need Muse and Genesect. So this bundle from Costco is actually like perfect for someone like myself. So uh, yeah, very happy with the pack selection today. They're not like giving us Rebel Clash or something weird. Oh baby, yes, an Umbreon V. All right, love to see it. There's your look at the Evolving Skies Umbreon V we just pulled. The Luxury Ball is so, so sick. You got gold, red, and black. And like, the, the it's just, ah, oh, they, they nailed it. I love the, I love the Luxury Ball. So it appears that my uh, my iPhone is out of memory or something. I'm not sure what's going on, but it won't record any more video. So just to play it safe, we're gonna open it old school with this uh, with the one camera right here. Chilling Rain Pack didn't have much heat. We actually just got this card right here, the Galarian Slowking Hollow Rare. So you guys missed the pack opening because the footage got corrupted basically, but we got the Galarian Slowking that is gonna go into the giveaway stack. And now we got two packs left remaining, Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. So. Let's open it up, see what we can get out of Fusion Strike, and then Evolving Skies will wrap up the video. So here we go, white, oh, black code card. So that, that's a good thing right there. We're gonna get a Hollow Rare or better. One, two, three, four. Don't wanna ruin the card. Here we go. Water Energy, a Sydney Battle VIP Pass. We got a Graveler, a uh, Grubbin, Rotom, Smeargle, Carvana, a Morpeko, ooh, Reverse Hollow, Landorus, and a... Ooh, a hollow rare Galarian Obstagoon. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna put this in the giveaway stack as well. Lots of hollow rares are gonna be, gonna, yeah, but gonna be given away today. Final pack of the video, the Evolving Skies Rayquaza pack art. Let's see what we can pull, guys. And uh, yeah, let's just have some fun with this last, last Costco pack. I'm hyped. Oh, we got the green code card. So it's gonna be painful, but it could be an error, you know, because we've seen errors happen before. So I wouldn't be surprised too much, but we got an electric energy, a Paplitoad. Uh, I hate this guy in Pokemon Unite. I haven't played Pokemon Unite in forever. I kind of miss it. I should start playing again. I heard they added Tyranitar to the game on Twitter, which is pretty dope. I love Tyranitar. Might become a Tyranitar main if he's decent. All right, we got Lillipup. We got a copycat and our last card is a Tropius non-hollow. All right, click on screen right here to watch the Japan Mega Vlog or the last time we went Costco shopping or yesterday's mystery box from Walmart Vlog. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.